ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन प्रोटियोग्लेक एंड ग्लाइकोलिपिड्स आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ग्लाइको कॉन्जुगेट्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डिफरेंशिएट ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन एंड प्रोटियोग्लेक इन बोथ ऑफ दीज प्रोटीन द कार्बोहैड्रेट इज कोवेलेंटली अटैच टू द प्रोटीन पोर्शन बट द नेचर ऑफ कार्बोहैड्रेट इज डिफरेंट इन glycoproteins the oligosaccharide side chains which are attached to the proteins are short and they are highly branched whereas in proteoglycans the oligosaccharide side chains are long and they are unbranched usually they are made up of repeating disaccharide units in glycoproteins amino sugars are present amino sugars are what glucosamine this is an amino sugar right uronic acid is absent uronic acids are glucuronic acid iduronic acid these are all absent in glycoproteins whereas in proteoglycans you will find both there will be n acetyl glucosamine there will be iduronic acid there will be glucuronic acid they are all present in proteoglycans whereas uronic acid is absent in glycoproteins as mentioned earlier in proteoglycans there is presence of disaccharide repeat unit which is made up of amino sugar and hexuronic acid n acetyl glucosamine and glucuronic acid one example i am giving right so there are many proteoglycans right so the proteoglycans are made up of a core protein to which glycosamino glycans are attached so this glycosamino glycans are what they are this they are made up of amino sugar and hexuronic acid right so there are many glycosamino glycans chondroitin sulfate dermatin sulfate heparin heparin sulfate right in glycoproteins there is no such repeating disaccharide unit present the carbohydrate portion in glycoprotein is short and highly branched oligosaccharides there are three types of glycoproteins n linked o linked and gpa anchored glycoproteins in n linked glycoproteins as the name suggests the oligosaccharide side chains are attached to the nitrogen the amide nitrogen of asparagine of the protein so that is n linked glycoprotein as you can see the oligosaccharide is short and it is branched right what about o linked glycoprotein as the name suggest o means the oligosaccharide side chains are attached to the oxygen atom of oh group containing amino acids they are serine or threonine what about tyrosine it also contains oh group right in most of the o linked glycoproteins the oligosaccharide side chain is attached to either serine or threonine there is only one glycoprotein to which the carbohydrate is attached to the oh group of tyrosine can you name that glycoprotein you might have studied that glycoprotein in carbohydrate metabolism this is a glycoprotein to which glucose is attached okay there will be multiple glucose attached so it is a highly branched structure can you remember now if you remember write it in the comment section when i read your comments i'll be happy that i was able to stimulate your interest in this subject yes you are correct the answer is 
glycogenin this is a protein which serves as a primer during glycogen synthesis glucose is attached to the tyrosine of glycogenin right the third and final type of glycoproteins is gpi anchored glycoprotein gpi stands for glycosyl phosphatidyl inositol so this portion is phosphatidyl inositol we know this is a phospholipid right phosphatidyl inositol phosphatidyl means there are two fatty acids attached to the glycerol and there is presence of a phosphate so that is phosphatidic acid right what is phosphatidic acid so this is a glycerol this is glycerol 3 phosphate if you attach one fatty acids and another fatty acid so this is phosphatidic acid right so to phosphatidic acid you attach carbohydrate so that is glycosyl so this portion this core portion this is the glycosyl so glycosyl phosphatidyl inositol right and also look at this this is the phosphoethanolamine portion so the terminal part of the gpa anchor is made up of phosphoethanolamine which is attached to the carboxy terminal of the protein and one more thing i want you to remember that gpa anchored proteins the anchor is there it is attached to the outer leaflet of the plasma membrane it is not attached to the whole membrane it is attached only to the outer leaflet of the membrane so the anchor is the gpi okay the gpi portion anchors the protein to the outer leaflet of the cell membrane so gpi anchored proteins are membrane proteins is this clear all right can you name a few examples of gpi anchored proteins as you have rightly guessed all these are membrane anchored proteins look at this rbc membrane anchored acetylcholine esterase membrane anchored alkaline phosphatase cd55 is decay accelerating factor cd59 is membrane inhibitor of reactive lysis these two are very crucial complement inhibitors we don't want the complement system to be activated by mistake on the surface of rbc membrane so that inhibition is done by cd55 and cd59 so these are the proteins after the protein is formed they are attached to the membrane by adding gpa anchor so the formation of gpa anchor is done by a protein called piga so this is a gene piga gene glycosyl phosphatidyl inositol type a or group a okay defect in piga gene leads to paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria which we will discuss in a separate video 5 prime nucleotidase is another example for gpa anchored protein let me tell you one more clinically relevant point alkaline phosphatase and 5 prime nucleotidase are membrane anchored proteins right so whenever there is biliary stasis because of the detergent activity of bile these anchored proteins are released from the membrane and they are the markers for obstructive jaundice so they are the markers of cholestasis right finally let me give you some examples for glycoproteins all the plasma proteins except human albumin are glycoproteins okay so name any plasma protein except albumin they are all glycoproteins i will also give you some more examples 
collagen, mucin, right? So they are also glycoproteins. What is lectin? Lectin is a protein which binds to carbohydrate moiety. Remember this. So lectins are carbohydrate binding proteins. I will make a separate video for lectins in future if you want. I hope you have understood the difference between glycoproteins and proteoglycans, the three types of glycoproteins, the role of GPA anchor and you can now appreciate the few examples of glycoproteins in the human body clearly. Thank you for watching this video. Please share this video with your friends if you think I am doing a decent job. Thank you.